My name is Gavin Evans and this is my review for The Golden Compass. Now when this movie came out, I was just obsessed with the Chronicles of Narnia, the lines of Witch in the Wardrobe. So I really wanted to see this movie, but I was never allowed to. Now I know why, because the bad guys or the church, I, I get all that. But this was a movie that I was always curious about and I never really heard all too much about it so I thought maybe this could be an underrated gem from the 2000s that nobody talks about anymore and I could be like, hey guys, it's actually pretty good. But after watching this movie, it's anything but. This movie is a complete pile of trash. I hated this. This is, without exaggeration, one of the worst movies I've ever seen in my life. I cannot believe I wasted my time watching it. Even if I saw this movie when I really wanted to, when I was obsessed with this genre, I still think I would hate it. Because at no point is it entertaining or has any bit of energy or personality. It is just relentlessly boring. But let's talk about what I did like about it. The production design is very good. And the visual effects are for the most part pretty good, even though I don't think the animals talking felt convincing. And uh, that's where my positives end. Okay, on to my negatives. Um, where to begin? Well, let's talk about the performances. You've got Dakota Blue Richards, who I found to be a very boring lead. You know, not enough people give credit to Daniel Radcliffe for the first Harry Potter movie. I'm not saying it's a great performance, but at least he actually has screen presence. While this girl, I just found her to be so boring, and no point did I root for her, and I found her character to be remarkably dull. You've got Nicole Kidman, who looks very nice in this movie. Aside from that, she really doesn't do anything. Daniel Craig, who I thought was the lead in this movie. Like, he's like the first name on the poster. Every bit of footage I've seen from this movie had him in it. So I was surprised at how he's barely in this movie at all. He's absent for most of it, and I don't think he does all too good of a job when he is in it. You've also got yourself Freddie Highmore, Ian McKellen, Eva Green, Ian McShane. Meh. Didn't really care for any of their performances. And I think the actual worst part of this movie is the story. It is just so incredibly dull. Like, after like 20 minutes, I just zoned out. I had to fight to pay attention to the movie. You know, and the world building I thought was completely empty. You know, movies like this should capture a sense of awe and wonder. And not once does this movie do that. Nothing feels incredible or grander than life. It just all feels so flat. And the stakes never feel real. I think it just drags without any bit of energy. Like, this movie is bullwink. It truly is. And I don't think the directing was good by Chris White. Like, especially when they're in the Arctic and it's supposed to be cold, people are just walking around like it's nothing. Like, there's a few people that look cold every now and again, but you don't really feel it for the most part. So, like, I don't really have tons to say on this movie. Like, it's not one that... I will ever, ever watch again in my life. You know, like when you watch the first Harry Potter movie, it captures a sense of awe and wonder. As Harry's discovering this new world, the villains are set up incredibly well, the supporting characters are memorable. You can criticize the movie for being cheesy and for being two very different movies, but it still works at everything it's trying to do. While this movie, you enter this new world and you don't feel an ounce of magic. You get introduced to these characters that you don't care even remotely from. Trying to stay, pay attention to the villain and the threat and all that is as boring as it gets. So yeah, this movie did nothing for me. I hated it. Hated, hated, hated it. I will never watch it again. So I'm going to go ahead and give the Golden Compass a 0 0.5 out of 10. Okay, but if you do want to watch a very underrated fantasy movie from 2007. Watch the movie Stardust. That movie is just wonderful. And if you want to watch another fantasy movie from 2007 that revolves heavily around a compass, watch Pirates of the Caribbean 3 at World's End because that movie is much better than you remember it being. But what do you think of the Golden Compass? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe. Stay tuned for some more videos soon and Gavin out.